hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all doing well in today's video i'm going to be doing a savings challenge slash sinking funds cash stuffing with the rollover money that was left for february after paying all of our bills paying our debts covering all of our expenses and then adding some additional into sinking funds we were still able to have a remaining balance of $750 that is money that is unaccounted for sort of because I had planned to make this video so that is what we're going to be stuffing today it is a little bit under $750 I'm going to go over the bonus cash stuffing budget yes I did make a budget for it for one I just like to do budgets and for two you should always have a plan for your money so this is the February rollover budget for 2023. The amounts that we are working with is the $750. And then this additional $31, I don't know if you guys could see. This additional $31 here is for the zero out challenge that is coming out of our checking account. Essentially, every week I was looking at our checking account and the last three digits. So if it was $5.50, I would um, account for that in my zero out challenge in the the budget book and then at the end of the month i did all of, add all of that up and it totaled up to 31 dollars. it's actually 30 dollars and something cents but i'm not gonna stuff change so i did just round up to 31 dollars. that isn't part of the 750 dollars that was left over after all of the bills and everything that i just talked about so um that is additional so for cash envelopes although this is a savings type of video i still like to jot down cash envelopes just in case we are short in any category this is an opportunity to put aside money for that but for this particular week we're not going to need any additional funds so i did just zero everything out extra expenses also none again i just still like to add that category even if there is nothing that we have to budget for that and then debts this is an extra debt payment of $120 towards our Wealth Sparkle credit card. I did already make the payment. This $120, I did choose this amount in my last cash stuffing. I will link it here in the corner in case you're interested. Um, it's just a way of making it a little bit more fun to pay additional on your debt. You don't have to do that. The only reason I'm even doing it is because our loans, our um, debt is zero interest and it is not something that we are super focusing on right now on paying down our debt completely. We are focusing on savings and also fully funding our vacation and paying down the vacation, whatever we do have on that credit card. So savings challenges, we are going to be stuffing $460 today and that is for the max it out challenge, the 100 envelope challenge, the zero out challenge, and then a small $200 savings challenge. And then for sinking funds, I'm stuffing $170. Totaling all that up is $750. The cash total is $630 plus that additional $31 for the zero out challenge. So it's $691 and then there was nothing remaining because we budgeted everything out. So that's pretty much how the budget looks i'm gonna set this here and i'm gonna go ahead and just give this a quick count this last 31 is um for the zero out challenge. I did separate it plus 31. So I am stuffing $661 today. I'm not sure if I said 691 anytime before this, but it is 661. I don't know why I had $691 in my head. It's 661. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, our sinking funds. So for our high priority sinking funds, Emergency fund is getting $5. So that's 1,000, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 1,060 dollars. I did already update the trackers. So we should be good on that. And for home maintenance, 
five dollars one thousand two thousand five hundred in the bank six hundred seven hundred eight hundred eight twenty eight forty eight sixty eight eighty eight ninety nine hundred and ten twenty thirty two thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars car maintenance is getting five dollars So now there's 100, 200, 320, 40, 60, 70, 80, 380 dollars. Annual bills is also getting five dollars. So now there's 100, 210, 20, 25. We should be doing our taxes tomorrow, Friday. Today is Thursday morning, so we will be finding out soon how much of a refund we will get. And depending on how the numbers look, we will be paying, if not all, most of our Wells Fargo credit card balance and then maybe use a chunk of it for our vacation expenses. We still have to buy a few things for ourselves and well, like our entire family and not a few things. It's quite a bit, you know, we're going on a vacation and it's going to be like a summer type vacation so we need some clothes we need a few things and um water shoes things like that and then also the money that we're going to be taking over there to like tip and if we want to go to restaurants that aren't within the resort uh just you know things like that we did pay for the excursions i did talk about that i've talked about this in other videos and i will link i always like to link videos that I have mentioned these things before just so that you have some kind of reference as to what are you talking about um, just in case you are interested so where was I going with that oh yeah I was talking about our tax return so it's pretty much already spent whatever money it is that we do get it's just a matter of where is it going to go if it's all going to go towards the Wells Fargo credit card or um, is it enough that we can add to like our kids savings um i really wanted to add some to our kids savings but we do have to get this vacation covered we do have to pay that debt so um it's just it's a matter of how much and if we can't do anything else besides get the vacation completely covered we can always just um, add to our kids savings and to any other sinking fund that we do want to contribute to with upcoming income so it's just a matter of when and with what income we are going to completely, you know, add into other sinking funds. Why am I going off on a tangent so early? I don't know. So I am going to be getting rid of month ahead in bills and month ahead in cash. Not completely, but it isn't something that I am focusing on right now. I have mentioned many, many times that we do have quite a bit of emergency savings. We have around five months worth and that is including to cover our bills our debt payments and also to cover our variable spending as far as like cash envelopes now it might not be as much as i um allocate to these categories now but it does cover um pretty much emergency expenses so i am going to be getting rid of these for now it's just not something that i am trying to focus on currently I did add them because it eventually it is something that I want to focus on, but I just think they're taking up room here. Whenever we are ready to just change it up and add into this, completely focus on it, then I will bring these back. But for now, I'm just going to get rid of them. And I am going to add this $60 to... Is it 60 Yeah. I'm going to also add it into our vacation sinking fund. My heater just turned on. Yes, I'm cold. I think it's like 60 something degrees. I am cold. Let me go ahead and turn it off because I don't want that sound throughout the whole video. All right, so where was I? Health, it's not getting anything. I'm going all the way to vacation and that's gonna be getting $100. So now we're at 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 650, 70, 90, 710, 730, 750, 755. 756 so 1756 we are trying to reach at least no not at least at most 
up to $5,000. And that is just to cover anything that will come up as far as like I did mention, having the cash to go, all the expenses that we still need, all the things that we still need to buy, and then um, funds for uh, where we're going to house our dogs for that week. Um, I haven't mentioned that, but obviously we're going to have to pay someone to either take care of them or um, have them boarded. I don't even know how much that is. I need to look into that. Um, if you have any pets and you've ever gone on vacation, how much did you end up paying for one of your pets or however many pets you do have? So yes, that is an additional expense that we do um, have to think about. So that's it for vacation. Christmas isn't getting anything. I am pretty much done here. Now I'm going to go into my kids' savings. My daughter is going to get $5. So $5 here. And I completely forgot to add the 60 into vacation. So I'm going to go back right now. Um, so she has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 20, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 1,538 dollars. I'll just stuff all of theirs and then I will go back to vacation. My son Phoenix is getting 10. Now he has 1,520, 30, 40, 50, 65. And Josiah is getting five, 10. And now he has 1,520, 30, 40, 50, 65. Isaiah is getting $15. 10, 5. And now he has 1,000, 2,000, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 2,100? Am I right? Oh no, 2,200. So, oh yes, I do remember mentioning in my last cash stuffing that I was gonna stuff that $15 that was left for him to reach 2,200. And if you are new to my channel, I do stuff um, different amounts in my kids envelopes because they are different ages my daughter is four years old and my son Isaiah is 17 going on 18 this year so there's just a huge um, age difference and we have to ramp up his savings a lot faster than any of our, our other kids so I'm done with this binder let me go back to vacation let's see and I'm gonna add that $60 from a month ahead. So instead of, how much did I say it was? Let me go ahead and update the tracker because I literally just did this on a whim. So 60, so it's gonna be 18, 16. Let me change the amount now. Might as well get it out of the way. And today is the, I think it's the second. I'm just gonna put it's the first. And I'm gonna put month ahead envelopes so that's sixty dollars additional and if we subtract five thousand we still have three thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars more to save um for march i have already pretty much worked out the numbers and we're putting at least eleven hundred into vacation so plus eleven hundred that still leaves two thousand eighty four dollars I do have some uh, tax money that was put aside for taxes for my YouTube paycheck. It's around almost $600. And I'm pretty sure, like I did mention before, that money I'm not going to have to pay anything. So that's an additional, actually I have to plus $600. So we're still $1,500 down. We're going to figure out where we're going to get that money from. Even if we have to borrow from ourselves, from our savings, then um, that's just gonna, what's going to have to happen. So um, that's it, right? So we're done with this binder. I don't know why I'm mentioning these things. I guess it's just as I go through the budget, as I go through the numbers while I'm on camera, I kind of have all these thoughts and how I'm going to be able to work the numbers out. It's just kind of a, a way for me to kind of just uh, show you my thought process, share my thought process as I go through it and that I don't have everything together. I 
still have to work on the budget and um, just try to figure out how we are going to go about it. I don't have everything figured out all the time. So if you are in the same situation and it might just be like a bill or something that's going to come up and you just don't have the money and you're scrounging around how to figure it out, just know that I'm there with you because I'm currently trying to figure out where we're going to get this $1,500 from. Next is family fun. Oop. I swear, this one really is my drunk binder. <laughs> Family Fun is getting $5. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67. And Birthdays is going to get $5. So now there's 50, 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, $164. We do have kind of like an impromptu little trip coming up. Um, I don't want to mention where it is to and even when just because I'm not sure if it is going to happen. But um, I'm already trying to work that into March's budget, which I've already worked on it. So that video should be coming out, I don't know, sometime, maybe tomorrow or during the weekend. Um, I'm kind of falling behind on life currently. So, but yeah, we are gonna probably be going somewhere sometime in March, uh, just like a small weekend trip, all of us. And um, hopefully it does happen and we're able to put aside some money for that. Is it the smartest thing to do because we are trying to save up as much as we can for our vacation in april maybe not but i think it, it was a good opportunity to take advantage of it and sometimes you just have to take that um, opportunity and just build memories so i am looking forward to that and i hope it does happen before winter is over and all the snow melts that's just a little clue as to where we might go so uh, that's it for sinking funds. Now I'm going to go ahead and stuff our savings challenges. And actually one of them is in this black binder here, the one all the way in the back. This is for Brian's Roth IRA and it's going to get $40. So two twenties. So now we, there's 100, 240. And I'm thinking um, probably by next. Oh, I can't put a little sticker. I do. I am putting stickers instead of um, coloring it in. So, but I can't because it's it's a hundred dollars per per bag, and of course I'm not gonna meet. Oops, sorry, I'm not gonna meet the six thousand dollar mark. But it's still good to work on it either way. But like I was saying, what was I saying? I can't remember now. Oh, I think I am gonna have to take this out probably in my next cash on stuffing. I'm just going to take it out and deposit it and um, into the Roth IRA and probably just start over for 2023, the Roth IRA, which starts in April all over again for 2023. So that's probably going to happen in my next cash on stuffing video. So now we are done with this one. And let me go ahead and go into my savings challenge binder. And no, I have not made labels yet. Um, for the 100 envelope challenge, I do have all of the numbers that I chose here throughout the month. I do choose at the end of every cash stuffing, I would choose two numbers with a wheel. I will link the playlist if you're interested in that. And it was a total of $378, but I did round up to $400. One, two, three, four, just to give us a little bit of extra savings. Um, by... The time you choose all of the 100 envelopes is a total of $5,050. But if you do round up, um, it can be a little bit more, obviously. So now the 100 envelope challenge, 100 envelope challenge, I said it so funny. Uh, it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 710, 720, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. $727. I might not count it next time so this is for january and february this first one here so we are done with this envelope and now i'm gonna start stuffing march through april that's how i'm doing it just not to have too much in one envelope sorry about my dog 
um, because this, you know, it doesn't fit too much, too many bills in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the zero out challenge, which like I did mention was $31, 20, 30, and the $1 bill. For January, it was $72, and now it's 50, 70, 90, 100, and 1, 2, 3. So $103 for January and February. I think that's a pretty good amount. I'm hoping maybe it could be like $500 by the end of the year. I don't want to be too ambitious because I'm not, um, I'm not rounding up too aggressively like I was in january technically in january i just literally chose the last four digits so it was like 71 dollars and something cents because i wasn't keeping track and i kind of wanted to start off on a like with a bang but the months to follow i don't think i'm gonna be that aggressive so for the 200 dollar savings challenge it's just this last 20 dollar bill so now we have 60 i do have my stickers here that I have been um, using stickers for all of my all of my savings challenges, and I completely forgot to put the stickers for my 100 envelope challenge, so I'm gonna have to do that right now. So now there's 60 in the $200 savings challenge. I'm not in a rush to fill any of these up. Actually, well, yeah, none of them up, so. And who knows, I might have to just dip into this for our vacation fund, just not to borrow from ourselves. Um, I don't know. I, you know, you can change your mind how you want to go about funding certain things. And I might just have to start over when it comes to savings challenges. But for right now, I'm continuing to do it this way. But we might just have to borrow from there as well and just start all over. Who knows? Maybe... Um, we can meet the $5,000 goal in the last, you know, the second half of the year. I don't know. I'm just kind of exploring my options. And making things up as I go. So, oh, here it is. The zero, the zero out challenge. Like I said, in January, I wasn't keeping up with anything so at the end it was just $71.88 I rounded up to 72 and then for February so um at the end of every week I was just putting how much was the last three digits of our checking account and then added it up here and at the end of the year you'll see how much you saved it does have the rules down here at the bottom but um of course you could do whatever it is that you want so now I'm just going to put all of the little stickers for my 100 envelope challenge and we're going to be done I should have done this right after I stuffed it or before, but oh well, we're here now. So we're going to do number 20. I'm just going to speed through this. All right, so we're done with our envelopes. I am choosing a different sticker or at least a different color for every month. In January, it was this purple uh, heart and now for February, it's this pink and March. I don't know, I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do the rainbows. I don't know, I have quite a bit of options. For April, I'm for sure gonna do these little airplanes just because that's when we go on our trip. And that's pretty much going to be it, you guys. I Actually, I do have quite a bit of things to say. I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, but the weather in California has been crazy. Right now, it is sunny and pretty outside. But yesterday, it was snowing. And we were outside. Um, I was actually, for the first time in a very long time, I think I've only gone to the snow once. And I was able to make a snow... A snowball anyway yesterday was the very first time that i was able to make a snowball with snow that was in my backyard that is insane i've never seen that happen i've seen hail before but not snow and it was a mixture of hail and snow but yesterday it snowed 
twice and the second time it was you could just tell it was like fluffy snow it was so it was so cool and um it was so pretty to see it falling from the sky i've never experienced that it's literally like being in a snow globe the weather has been pretty crazy it was also raining for days and days um back to back which of course we need it california always needs water i don't want to drag this on any longer i do have so many videos to still film so i will chit chat with you guys throughout those videos so that's pretty much going to be it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a like if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and as always i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye